uh, so Dojo is real, uh, the Tesla bot will be real. Um, but uh, basically, if you think about what we're doing right now with the cars, uh, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like se semi-sentient robots on wheels. Um, and with uh, uh, the full self-driving computer, essentially the, the inference engine on the car, which will keep evolving, obviously, and uh, Dojo, uh, and all of the uh, neural nets recognizing the world, understanding how to navigate through the world, uh, it, it kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. Um, and we're also quite good at uh, sensors and batteries and uh, actuators. So uh, we think we'll probably have uh, a prototype sometime next year uh, that uh, is, basically looks like this. Um, and it's intended to um, uh, be friendly, of course. Um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Um, we're setting it such that it is, um, at a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. So it's, uh, it'll be a, you know, a light, a, a light, yeah, anyway, five miles an hour. You can, if you can get run faster than that, it'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's a, around uh, five foot eight. Um, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the autopilot system in it. So it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras and. Um, yeah. Uh, full self-driving computer and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. So, um, I mean, things that I think that are really hard about uh, having a useful humanoid robot is can, can it navigate through the world without being expl explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, can, without explicit, like, line-by-line uh, -line instructions. Um, can you, can you talk to it and say, you know, please uh, pick up that bolt um, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench, and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to, you know, please, you know, please go to the store and get me the following groceries, um, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think we can do that. Um, <laughs> and, yeah. This, I think, will be quite, quite profound because if you say, like, what is the economy? It is, uh, at the foundation, it is labor. So what happens when there is, uh, you know, no shortage of, of labor? Um, this is why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Um, yeah. But, but not right now, because this robot doesn't work. And so <laughs> we just need a minute. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but I think it's, it's essentially in the future, uh, physical work will be a choice. If you, if you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. And, um, yeah, I think it obviously has profound implications for the economy because uh, given that the economy at, at its foundational level uh, is labor, I mean, capital is, uh, capital equipment is just distilled labor, uh, then um, is there any actual limit to the economy? Uh, maybe not. Um, so, yeah. Join our team and help build this. I was curious about the Tesla bot. Um, specifically, I'm wondering if there are any specific applications that you think the humanoid form factor lends itself to. And then secondary, um, because of its human form factor, is emotion or companionship at all thought about on the product roadmap at all? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, we, we certainly hope this does not feature in a dystopian sci-fi movie. Uh, but, uh, you know, like, really, at this point, we're, we're saying, like, maybe this robot can, it just, we're, trying, I'm, we're trying to be as literal as possible. Can it do um, boring, dangerous, repetitive uh, jobs that people don't want to do? And 
uh, you know, once we can have it do that, then maybe we can do other things too, but that's the, that's the thing that would be really great to have. So, I think it could be your buddy too. I mean, if I want to have it be your, your friend and whatever. <laughs> I'm sure that people will think of some very creative uses. <laughs> A lot of questions. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody. My question has to do with sort of AI and manufacturing. It's been a while since we've heard about the alien dreadnought concept. Is the humanoid that's behind you guys, is that kind of brought out of the production hell timeline and saying that humans are underrated in that process? Um, well, sometimes like, some, I, you know, something that I say is uh, taken to too much of an extreme. Um, there, <laughs> um, there are parts of the Tesla system that are, are co almost completely automated, and then there are some parts that are almost completely manual. Um, and uh, if you were to walk through the whole production system, you, you would see a very wide range from, yeah, like I said, f fully automatic to almost completely manual. Uh, but the vast majority, it, it, most of it is, is, is already uh, automated. Um, so, and then with the, some of the design architecture changes, like going to large uh, aluminum uh, high-pressure die-cast uh, components, we, we can take the entire rear third of the car and cast it as a single piece. And now we're gonna do the, the front third of the car as a single piece. So the, the body line um, drops by like 60 to 70% in size. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the robot is not, is not prompted by specifically by manufacturing needs. It's, it's just that um, we're just obviously making the pieces that are needed for a useful humanoid robot. Um, so I guess we probably should make it. And if we don't, someone else will. will and so I guess we should make it and make sure it's safe. Um. For your humanoid context, I'm wondering if you've decided on what use cases you're going to start with and what the grand challenges um, are in that context to make this viable. Well, I think for the human, for the Tesla bot, um, Optimus, uh, it's, it's basically going to start with uh, just dealing with uh, work that is uh, boring, repetitive, and dangerous. Um, basically, what is the work that people would least like to do? 